Happy holidays, everyone. As we're closing out the year and rounding up our final projects with our minds on time off and spending time with family, we're rounding up the year with Studio Pro 10.18, the next medium term support release. Let's find out why this is the perfect holiday present. I'm excited to introduce three new MVPs to the MVP program. Sebastian Denboer, Javid Baig, and Manikam Don K. These most valuable professionals have shown great commitment to strengthening the community by expanding the knowledge and skills of its members. Through organizing events, delivering training, and creating valuable content, they've helped countless people level up their Menix expertise. We're excited to collaborate with them, and we can't wait to see how they continue to inspire and drive the community forward. Visit menix.com slash MVP program to learn more about the program and how you can become an MVP. We've improved and extended the Maya Domain Model Generation feature a lot in the last couple of months. Domain Model Generation is now available for new and existing domain models and should save you considerable time when modeling a new domain model and help you quickly extend an existing one. Here are some examples you can try out. Quickly type and generate a set of entities and attributes like this. Create an order entity with attributes A, B, and C, and an order line entity. Each order can have multiple order lines. Maya will now suggest the right attribute types and associations automatically. You can also ask Maya to generate a domain model based on a set of create table SQL statements, which is handy in case you're migrating a legacy systems database structure into the domain model. To gather domain specific inspiration and additional requirements before generating the domain model, you can have a conversation with Maya. For example, Please provide me two or three suggestions for other order management related entities. You can choose one of these and then fine tune and extend it before generating the domain model. Or simply answer with please use option three. Domain model generation is enabled by default for new installations only. You can find the generate domain model button in the domain model top bar. You can now find a new Learn tab in Maya to provide discoverable and inspirational learning materials for people who are new to Mendix. You can use Maya Learn to quickly get up to speed about core Mendix development concepts and get started with Studio Pro. Maya Learn provides a set of short theory and how-to videos that cover the essentials of the main concepts. It also provides links to documentation and academy materials. And if you have more questions, you can easily switch to Maya Chat and ask away. Web applications have come a long way from their early days of static pages and minimal interaction. Today, the possibilities are nearly limitless, thanks to advancements in technology. To stay ahead, web developers need to keep up with the latest trends. However, with Mendix, you don't have to worry about that. Let us handle the technology so you can focus on making better software faster. We're excited to announce a significant shift in our client technology, transitioning from Dojo to React. Already available in public beta and now recommended for all customers, the React client can be enabled in the runtime settings. This change means your applications will now use React, the leading technology for building feature-rich, reliable, and high-performance web apps. As applications expand, gaining insight into their internal workings can become quite complex. But understanding it might be crucial for resolving issues and improving app performance. We're excited to announce that we're introducing tracing based on open telemetry to the Menix runtime. Tracing allows you to inspect which microflows are executing, their duration, and the activities they perform. To try out tracing, you need a third-party application performance management tool such as Datadog. We encourage you to try it out and give us feedback, but don't use this beta feature in production apps just yet. If you've ever worked with multiple people on the same branch, it's likely you've run into conflicts at some point. And in Minix 10, you may have been confused by the terminology used when rebasing, because mine and theirs were suddenly swapped. From now on, we'll explicitly state whether work belongs to the local branch or the server, so you know exactly what to pick when resolving conflicts. And since we're talking about conflict resolution anyway, we've added the option to see which files were modified in the changes pane and to resolve conflicting files directly within Studio Pro. Now to stay on the topic of version control, we've been working on slowing down the growth of your version control repository, which could affect performance. With Mendix 10.18, we are releasing a public beta of a new storage format called MPR version 2. The format is designed to work better with version control systems by splitting the MPR files into lots of smaller files, 
which ensures better performance over time. Upgrading to the new format is opt-in and can be executed on a per-branch basis through the file menu. After organizing more than 100 meetups in 2024, we're kicking off the new year with a meetup in Lisbon, Portugal on January 9th, organized by Nuno Costa from Bull. This is the next chapter of the Wonder Bull Mendix series, and this time the focus is on handling Mendix big data, best practices and strategies too. You're also invited to join a meetup in Japan on January 14th and one in Korea on the 17th, both organized by Louisa Tung, pioneer and candidate MVP from ABN AMRO. On January 22nd, Eric Souza is hosting an online meetup for the Brazilian community. The topic, native applications, tips and best practices, will be helpful for Portuguese speakers around the world. And wrapping up the month, Sylvan Stich from Zurke is organizing their first meetup in Zurich, Switzerland on January 30th. Attendees will learn from a platform adopter about accelerated development with Mendix and AI. Go to meetup.com slash pro slash Mendix Maker Community to sign up and find a meetup near you. And that rounds up the releases for 2024. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com slash blog, or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.18 at marketplace.menix.com to use all of these new features right now. If you find these release videos useful, consider subscribing to get notifications when new videos are released. Thank you for watching this whole year. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I wish you happy holidays and see you in 2025. Last video of the year. And should give you considerable... Let's go again, go again. And should save you considerable time when modeling mad mad when modeling a new a new a new <laughs> uh, one day I'm gonna get it right. When people for when people for people who people why people. You can use Maya to learn quickly to learn to pat and in our client technology. In our why in our as applications expand as a computer. Don't use this feature in beta, 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 beta. <laughs> if you've ever worked with multiple people on the same, <laughs> and since we're talking about, since we're, since we're talking, since we're stumbling over our words, by the terminology, terminology, terminology.